she is going to uh, do two th spot forex trade posts over here. Um, you, when, if I'm not wrong, when she specifically mentions two th forex could be things like the FXE or the FXY or the FXA. These are the currency shares that are traded and uh, Obviously, if you're a forex trader, you can use these uh, similar approaches with the spot rate, but we can use the funds over here, the ETF holdings, the FXE, the FXY, which is the yen. These are the ones. Um, I believe what, I, what she's trying to do is she's trying to incorporate kind of two T things in a directional fashion so that we can actually trade it on this one. This is the yen. Uh, this is, I think, the Aussie dollar. There you go. All right, so these are the ones that are been popping out right now to do so. Okay, so this is what we were able to look at. Okay, now. Um, Dominic, you have a question for you here, which I will want to look at, all right, um, to look at over here, okay? Now, some of you have been reading the newsletter, you're asking me questions based on the blue and red flag kind of thing, all right, which I'll talk about later. But, um, Dominic, I do want to talk about this one, uh, GLD, which we potentially may be able to participate in, at least practice in doing that, okay, in, in this one particular, particular one in gold, okay? Um, Getting rid of um, the studies lines over here, and to do so. So this goal here will be on the first of June, where we will um, look to take that particular trade. Okay. So the only Dominic, the, uh, the only time that you enter is the first day. You miss the first day, you miss the trade unless the second day or the third day is about the same price as the first day. So unfortunately, you have to be around tomorrow to actually take this particular trade. Calculations exactly the same as the IAE trade. Okay. So let me see if I can launch the um, calculations over here. Right. So the IAE percentage is used exactly the same way to, to do this particular trade. Right. So this is what we're going to do. Okay. Some problems with my Excel game, so I'm not too concerned about that, but don't worry about that. Now, um, in goal, right, we are going to trade up till FOMC week, that's all, because there's an FOMC week uh, that will smack into our trade in the middle of June. So it shall be a trade. Three weeks out, that's it. Okay, we don't have to go any further. If you want to go any further into the 25th of, uh, uh, into the, this one here, 25 days to expiry, I don't see a reason why you should. Okay, um, probably not. Okay, probably not. So, so let's look at um, the calculations for gold. I did a quick uh, tap on the number here before. So this is my IAE calculation over here, right? And if gold is now 115.62, it's going to be the 115.5. Say the strike price or stock price is now 115.62. Right? The IV is about 14%, give or take. The intended move is about $8, and our entry is about $3.20, which is um, what I have uh, looked at last week on Friday. So the numbers do look good, but be very careful and be very mindful and be very, very uh, on the ball in this because there's an FOMC in progress. You've got to be out in this trade in two to three hours before the FOMC begins. So win, lose, trade, got to be out. Okay. What I'll do is that if I get in at $3.20, I'll set a dollar target. I'll be happy with it. It's about 30% and I'm gone. And I'm gone. In case I'm not around, it kicks me up and that's it. Okay. That's what I usually will do. Uh, that is specifically on um, the ETF trade on gold itself. Okay. Now, um, Dominic, I hope it helps. All right, if you have anything uh, that to do that, uh, if it's if you have a follow-up question, please do type. Okay, uh, Will, you're asking red flags, blue flags. Uh, red flags, you can actually look at the forexfactory.com as outlined in the in the, uh, in the newsletter. You go to forexfactory.com. Let me see if I can uh, pop that out on the screen so that you can have a look at it. Yeah, this particular screen here is forexfactory.com. ForexFactory.com. It's particularly useful to uh, particularly useful for for forex traders. Uh, some people use this because it actually highlights all major announcements, all major interest rates, decisions, uh, policy making things uh, around the world uh, uh, to do so. Okay. So if you look at the calendar over here. The calendar over here. You see all this, right? The red ones are the ones in red uh, that are likely to you know, affect um, affect your trades in any. Okay, so these are the red ones. The blue ones are, let me see where I can see that. Okay, it's forexfactory.com. The red ones, okay. Okay, uh, let me just get back to you on the blue ones. Okay, the blue ones, uh, it's the first time I see it, by the way. All these IMF, GA, G7 meetings over here. So, 
these blue ones, I have to find out from her where I get it from. I haven't actually read this in detail yet. I was reading it before this particular webinar. But then again, Forest Factory is the one that we go for for these late factory uh, times. Okay. Um, Agnes, a question. Short week, no weekly hedge, correct? Um, IAE, you can do so. Index trade, yes, no problem. Go ahead. Okay. Um, Roger, for IAE trades, you can actually look at any of them that have finished their earnings over here and, and do so. All right, so you definitely can do that. Okay. Now, um, Agnes, you got a question about Goldman Sachs on IAE. Okay, which uh, let me see if I can help you in that decision making process over here. Okay. You got about 22% in uh, in your in, in your trade over here. What should you do about it? Um, I would wait till FOMC and see if there's a definitive direction that this is headed now. So I'll wait till about FOMC to, to take note because they're in the trade for close to about a, 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 a month right now, not really going anywhere, not really headed anywhere for this particular trade. Okay, so I believe your, your trade should be about 165 that thereabouts. Okay, do, do so. So that would be the one. Okay, that would be the one. Okay. Um, another question over here. Monthly index option, um, you can do gold. You definitely can do the FXE as well, right? Uh, I can do so. Okay. Uh, someone just posted a mistake that I did. Tomorrow is 31st of May, which is correct. Uh, your first of June trade is actually on Wednesday. Beg your pardon. All right. Thank you for that. No, no, over there. Okay. Thank you for that. Okay. All right. All right. While I wait for more questions to come in, all right, there are several things that I would like to address, especially for our new. Uh, New limited smart traders graduates over here. I would like you to do this, right? I would like you to save a template here um, to put in your straddle entry and exit. You trade by right clicking on this, you buy this as a straddle, you put this as a first trader sequential, you right click and you do an opposite order, you change this to GTC. What I'd like you to do right now is to save this, click this on save. And save this as a straddle entry and exit. All right, save that because once you do that, all you need to do right now is to right click, right custom, straddle entry exit. All you have to do is to drag a slider, set the sell price. All right, let's say four dollars and fifty cents, and all you need to do is set, and that's all. This particular video on how to do it is available on our website in the resources. All right, you got to log in for this. Okay, you got to log in for this one over here. Go to resources. Replace the straddle order. All right, this one. That's it. All right, so save that. All right, save that. Um, on that note, please also save this one. Okay. Uh, 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 by strangle. You can do the same thing. First trigger sequential. Opposite order. GTC, save this as well. There are occasions over here in high IV environments in IAE trades or even the weekly hedge trades that we sometimes do take strangle trades. Okay, Or what I particularly find very useful to do is if the strike price is in between, all right, uh, sorry, the stock price is in between strike price, for example, let's say <coughs> all right, I usually take one level out of the money on each end. And that gives me a good balance of a good delta and a slightly cheaper options range in uh, slightly cheaper options range over here to actually do that particular trade there okay so that is what I, I would do okay right that's for uh, administrative things on um, think of swim, right um, I'm still waiting for any further questions that you guys might have and I said before that today might be a pretty short one okay so please do so okay uh, for those of you who are from Malaysia uh, particularly those of you who are from Malaysia and who are signing up for new accounts right now and uh, I will repeat this in a very, very short reminder here. Go to tdameritrade.asia.com. If you haven't signed up for your account already, you are now going to be able to do so from Singapore because uh, Singapore is the one that uh, will manage your accounts. So if you have a pending account with the United States over here, all you have to do is to go to tdameritradeasia.com. You either open a new account in Singapore or you log, finish filling in the form, and that's it. Okay, that's it. Now, uh, Dominic over here, uh, you got a question. On a live platform, when we sell at market price, will it be close to the actual price? Um, 
Now, Dominic, in a live environment, your price should be real time. It's not a 20 minute delay, so so you can set it as per normal. That is fine. The reason why we don't have the price jumps over here, we have the price jumps. I beg your pardon. We have the price price jumps in the virtual trading is because your your data is delayed for the auction quotes. The moment that you have your live account ready, please um, notify Think for Stream to give you live quotes on your virtual paper account. Okay. Now, um, Joanne over here, what is the exit, exit strategy for index trading? I usually just set a dollar above because I'm, I'm getting at about $3 a trade right now. I get a 30-40% target instead of the full range. Of course, you can shoot for the full range, but I don't. I usually set a dollar. If I get a dollar in a day, I'll be up. But if I set a dollar and it doesn't give me that dollar, the next day it tends to move in another direction, I, I will look at it in, in that time. Okay. So I'm not a greedy person if I if I do this trade over here. You can set a dollar, you can set a dollar fifty, definitely no problem at all. And of course come FOMC on Wednesday on the fifteenth of June. Uh, look forward to getting this trade out. If it's not out beforehand you've got to get out on the day itself. Okay, so that's basically what I what I do uh, for the trade in the um, ETF this coming uh, this coming Wednesday. Okay, good. And I have zoomed through all your questions so far. Okay, so again, reminder, our summary of tonight, there's no trade tonight. Okay, your market's closed, and you don't have to do anything at all. Uh, wait for the ETF trade on Wednesday, do up the numbers, see what um, opportunities are waits for you. And uh, I usually, if I get into trade at about $3 or so, I'm happy with the dollar target, maybe a dollar fifty. It really depends, okay? Um, same thing for VMC, I would stay on. I will stay on, okay? Uh, I don't think there's anything to look at, I would stay on, right? So that's basically it, okay? Um, Jialing, you're asking me about the IV for gold, okay? Uh, show you again. So if I look at gold here, right, uh, there's 115.62, right? The IV on both sides, one is about 13.9, the other side is about 15.9, so average up is about 14%. Rough average, okay. That's that's it. that's the idea I would use, okay. All right, that's it, okay. So it's a quick one, and uh, we are here right now, all right. So there's nothing to do, all right. Um, some of you are uh, waiting now. If, if uh, it's night, of course, the market's not open today, you can't do anything, okay. So I guess we are done for today. Before you finish, since you're, most of you are online right now, have a read the newsletter today, it's uh, several pages long, quite detailed and things that, that she's going to mention, June 2016 newsletter. Please go and read it since there's nothing else for, for any of you to do right now. So thank you all for being online. I will post the schedule up um, uh, very, very quickly. There are some things that I would be hiding now. I'm not around on the uh, 12th of June, uh, possibly on, on the 20th, in case that there might be uh, I, I need to call back to the National Service, but I, I tried to get that uh, worked around. So. I will post a confirmation a schedule in a bit later this week, so look forward and look at people out for that. Alright, so thank you all for being online. I will see you the next time. Good night.